All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Indie on the Rock series where I sit back and relax with a nice drink in hand and take a look at an interesting indie game that I found online recently. And for today's episode, we are having a gander at Blue Collar Astronaut by Mutated Software, which you would have known had we been able to stay on the previous screen. Ah, oh boy. You know, the game started up with this lovely intro sequence that was quite nice. Showed you the company name, the name of the game, of course. Beautiful starry background. The ship that you're about to fly going by and then exploding. It was gorgeous. Uh, but anytime I tried to start my recording, my uh, hotkey for that automatically kicks us into this game. And even if I switch the hotkey to any other key on my keyboard, it does the same. So sadly... If you want to see that, you'll have to download this demo for yourself, which is, of course, free to do. Link in the description, as always. But the game in question, now that we're at the sort of uh, start game screen here, is a arcade-style ship game that bills itself as a modernized lunar lander. And that, that right there, is why I wanted to download and try out this game. When I was younger, I spent so much time playing Lunar Lander. I was awful at it, so fair warning, I'm probably not going to be very good at this today. But still, it, it just hooked me in. I absolutely loved that game. So a modern take on it with updated graphics, uh, It just it, the idea makes me happy. So that's what we're going to be playing here today. Now, uh... Whenever I start one of these, since it's kind of a first look series, I like to look at any uh, options they may have. Now, this game is in Unity, so you get the standard Unity launcher where you can select your generic graphic options, etc. Uh, but we also have this flip switches button here, so you can uh, check uh, change around the sound, which is a nice little touch. Being a 2D game, I, I don't really knock off many points for them not having graphic options in here, but, you know, it's... It's something I would like to see nonetheless in the future, at least resolution options. Uh, since, again, it is a 2D art style game, not really a whole lot else you can do with it. Uh, but still, still, good. To, you can at least switch these sound settings in here. And like I said, we had the Unity launcher beforehand. And uh, yeah, so up here, we do seem to be able to switch to add multiple players, which is intriguing. I don't remember reading anything about that uh, when I was uh, looking into this game. So that is interesting. We'll stick with one player, though, since it's just me here, and we do have our difficulty settings. I'm going to put it to easy, because like I said, Lunar Lander, I wasn't very good at it. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going to leave it there. And, of course, the we have an eject button down here that exits the game. Let's not click that. But I like that they have that as eject and the flip switches. I, I like that little touch instead of just options and exit. It makes me happy. So, yeah, this demo is a uh, sort of free demo they put out there to get a bit more support for their current Steam Greenlight campaign that they're doing. And the game in question is going to have all sorts of modes once it is released. They're going to have like a story mode and then all of these other modes like uh, time trial modes and things like that that you can unlock as you go along, which is really cool. But this demo right now... Is, I believe is just sort of the beginning part of the story mode of the game where you are a blue-collar astronaut, as the title suggests, trying to, you know, earn your way up the social or economic ladder, whatever. And, uh, yeah, you're trying to get your pilot's license and then do jobs to earn money. And the uh, story mode that we get for this version of the game uh, is supposed to be the early missions of you trying to get your astronaut pilot's license. So let's just jump in, launch yourself into riches, get your pilot's license today. I absolutely love the art style for this. So we have a timer over here. There's a ship crashing into our little planet or asteroid or whatever the crap we're on. We have a fuel gauge, so that's good to know. And uh, looks like it's just keyboard controls, which, oh boy, oh boy, I'm at a strange angle on my desk to do this. Let's uh, oh, adjust my keyboard a little. There we go. That's a better position. So up to fire our engine. You do see over here we are losing fuel, so that's good. And yeah, it's, it seems to be just three button controls. You turn left and right and up to actually get thrust. Oh, don't hit the cones. Oh, God. Okay, okay, there we go. We're in. 
And now we gotta land. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, I've lose. I've lost all sorts of points. Well, hey, a new mode unlocked. <laughs> Like I said, I was horrible at these sorts of games, but I love them nonetheless. So uh, I don't, I don't know how well that first test for our pilot's license went. I did hit two cones, but let's let's go. Okay, time three three thirty five passed. Really? <laughs> oh, I got bronze, so a hundred and five more for silver. I almost would have gotten silver if I hadn't have hit those cones. Almost, just short. <laughs> I like that. That's still like a pass-fail grade on here. I kind of want to really screw up one just to see the fail. I, I don't know why, but it, it amuses me. Oh no, it's on normal still. Oh god, it's stuck on normal. <laughs> no wonder I did horribly that and my complete lack of any ability whatsoever. But next level... Oh boy, so we've... Oh, am I going to be landing? Yes, we are sort of slowly falling. Let's uh, slow ourselves down a bit here. And land, hopefully not becoming a hunk of metal over there. Oh, we unlocked another new mode. Wow, we're getting all sorts of things. And look at that beautiful confetti. Okay, okay, there we go. Uh, oh my, pass and awesome. Clearly they don't know who I am. <laughs> we're a shooting star. All right, let's continue forward. Next level. Oh God, it's at an angle. Oh, I'm screwed. Okay, okay, okay. Slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Maybe. Okay, okay, and... So we were just landing on whatever that, that was. Was that like a... What, what was that anyways? It looked like a mattress of some form. Okay. And hey, we're a shooting star again. We got an awesome. Lovely. I have no idea how many levels are actually in this, so with my luck, we're going to burn through. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> okay, yeah, it's like space mattresses. Huh. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm loving the art style to this, though. Very sort of happy-go-lucky cartoony type art, and I, I, I really enjoy that. I, I love the little cone we've got on our spaceship here, which... Oh god, and... Oh. I can't, I can't miss the three. Good uh, particle effects, too, for the fire. I like that. The smoke is good, changing color as it goes away. And... Four. And we keep unlocking new modes. I'm intrigued as to what those possibly might be. Oh, we didn't get an awesome this time. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, so you only get an awesome if you get gold. So we just had a silver. But we did get a smiley face, so you know what? I'm happy with that. I would have preferred a gold star, but hey, smiley faces are good too. All right, let's just keep trying. Oh, we're trying to land on this heap of mattresses. What is this? <laughs> I don't know, but I like it. Okay, okay, okay. Slow ourselves down. Oh, oh. Okay, we're we've entered the gravity of the mattress ball. <laughs> Okay, 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 so and do that a little bit up and Nailed it. Nope didn't nail it didn't nail it in the slightest <laughs> Oh, I like this it's amusing and fun And a nice change of pace from some of the games we occasionally play on here Oh, and I have to go back to the other side. Oh, that didn't go so well for me going over here. Well, let's let's move. <laughs> I am enjoying it though. So far, these guys have done quite a good job on this game. Controls are simple, but I mean, how much difficulty could you add to three buttons? So <laughs> it, it's quite it, it, it's quite difficult to screw that up, I believe. Uh, but they've done well with it. Nice controls. Oh, oh, and I overshot it a bit. Oh no, we made it. We made it and unlocked new modes and the. Glorious confetti. There we go. Oh, we just got a pass this time. No smiley face. But yeah, the controls are good. The sound is good. I'm liking the music in the background. As I've said several times now, the art is gorgeous. I really do like the look of the... Oh, there aren't numbered, so do I just go and get them at anything? And is that ball of mattresses moving? Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Well, at least we have, you know, a timer that's counting up rather than down, because if it was counting down, I'd be screwed. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. I overshot it. Let's just grab that. Lovely. Who would have thought it'd be so difficult to earn your blue-collar astronaut pilot's license? And we got that one. And now over this way. And... There we go. Oh, thank God we didn't have to land on anything this time. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, we got the smiley face, though, so that is good. And we'll do one more level. Oh, God, it's a circuit. I'm going to run into so many cones. But yeah, we'll do this one last levels. I don't know how many there are exactly. So, Oh, God, there is. There are other ships crashing through this place. Oh, God, I need to slow down too much momentum. I saw that other ship and kind of freaked out a little. Okay, okay, okay. And two. <laughs> God, we're only to the two. Oh, and slow. Thankfully, nothing has flown towards us that wants us dead yet. All right, there we go. We got that one. And just a smiley face. Oh. But yeah, we're, we're going to end on that level. I, I think that'll be enough. I don't want to show all of the demo out. You guys got to, you know, give a look of things for yourselves. Now, I believe in the final game, there's going to be 50 or over 50 levels. Uh, I've got it on my other monitor here. So, yes, over 50 levels in the final game. So we've just taken a look at a couple of them, and we haven't even earned our pilot's license yet. Oh, my, we've only gone through... 12% of our driver's education. <laughs> right. But okay, so that you click that to head back to into it, I guess. Let's hit back. So yes, now that we opened modes, which I don't think we actually have other modes. I think that may have just been the unlocks bill. Or it's unlocking those levels again. That might be it. Because, yeah, like I said, there are a variety of modes from the story one to uh, the time trials. And there's even apparently a health emphasis mode, a challenge mode that they're going to have, maximum score mode, and all sorts of other things, which uh, I think will be quite interesting. I'm intrigued, though, for the story mode. I want to see all the way through this uh, driver's ed and then us being a blue-collar astronaut out there in space. I think it would be quite fun and amusing. Uh, but yes, if you would like to try this for yourself, which I definitely suggest you do, you can download the demo uh, by following the link in the video description, as always. And they're hoping for the full release of this to come in quarter three of this year. So, uh, still a bit of a wait, but not too long. At least it's within this year. And uh, as I said earlier, they are on Steam Greenlight, so I'll add that link into the video description as well. So if you would like to go and support them there, I would definitely say to do that. And they have uh, both a download for the demo and also a web demo as well. So if you don't trust downloading it you can always just play it streaming on the web i haven't tried the web demo so if it doesn't work don't blame me but <laughs> it is there for you to try uh, but once again this is blue collar astronauts a very cool little game you know sort of calling back to the good old days of uh, lunar lander and i I love it. I'm going to play the rest of this demo, and once it's out, I'm going to play it all through then, too. And it's it's just fun and amusing. So I hope you do give it a try, and of course, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today, and that you come back for the next when we will be looking at yet another fun, hopefully, indie game. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. <laughs>